is Grant with Recraft Creative Reuse Center in Greenville, South Carolina, coming to you with a demo video for our complete craft kit. This one is the Decoupage Treasure Box. Um, we have links to other people doing decoupage, but this is a Recraft original, so I'm going to walk through everything that's in this box. It's everything you need, um, not only to get started, but to complete a craft that you'll be proud of to give as a gift. So all complete craft kits come with basic instructions as well as all the needed materials. There's plenty of room for personal creative style and technique. They're also appropriate for all ages from four on up. It is, it is a very safe, versatile, uh, creative reuse project. These are perfect uh, grab and go presents, uh, rewards, boredom busters, you name it. Um, and even the tools are included in this box. So, um, all craft kits, uh, again, come with that set of instructions, as well as uh, some information about our Scrap Rabbit's seven R's of sustainability. Comes with a cool vinyl sticker. You can make it here in Greenville. Yeah, that Greenville postcard. And then um, what's included in the box are the tools you're gonna need for this project, which is just a, uh, a little foam paintbrush as well as some kid safe pattern scissors. If you have other scissors, you're welcome to use those as well, but these work pretty well. Um, you're gonna use this brush for this stuff. This is called Mod Podge. It's basically extra thick school glue, and you're going to use this school glue and the brush to paint your box with glue um, and layer on paper, like these awesome vintage stamps from around the world, this pattern scrapbook paper, and even some fabric, some upholstery samples. So these are all the things that are included in your box. One thing that I love most about this craft is that you can add stuff from home. Um, we call like things that are sentimental to you, whether it's a, a movie ticket stub or a concert you went to or a receipt or a picture. Um, that's called ephemera, right? So something about these treasure boxes that um, can help you add some really personal creativity is something that's meaningful to you. Like I found this really awesome picture in this book of a guy with his son and it kind of reminds me of me and my son on a bicycle. And so I'm gonna actually use this as well as the stuff that came in the box. So definitely you're encouraged to add stuff from home. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this big old sheet and I'm gonna layer it right here. I've already cut up some of my, my scraps. On the back, I'm, just, I'm gonna get, just gonna do a couple little corners here so that it sticks in place on this wood. Just gonna do the corners for now, maybe like a big blob in the center. All right, and you're basically gonna be getting the paper um, completely soaked, wet, covered in, um, in this glue. But I'm just gonna put that down, and you just wanna lay it nice and flat. Rub it on there, get those corners, and here's what really, really, really makes it stick is you're gonna come back with another layer, and this is the decoupage technique. Decoupage is a French word that means um, to cover with paper. Uh, it's a really nice way to dress up just about anything in your house. Um, and it comes, so the word page means uh, page, right, paper, and deco to decorate or to cover. So what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna kind of smear down all of the corners, uh, get into all those little edges and stuff. You want the paper really adhering to the wood. There's really no wrong way to do this. It's hard to mess up, but you want to cover the whole thing. That's what's actually going to seal your image. So it's going to be protected forever and ever. Um, great thing about Mod Podge is it will definitely take a few spills here and there. Uh, if you spill something on it, you can wipe it right up. Now you saw me just jump in there with a uh, really big piece of paper here. Something um, that I want to point out is you want to make sure to do thin layers. So all things being equal, I would do three very thin layers as opposed to one really, really thick layer. This big piece of paper here, um, I was very careful to make sure that all the wrinkles were out. And um, if the paper gets too saturated too quickly, it will start to develop wrinkles and, and puffs and folds and things. So thin layers, definitely. Um, that's looking good. While the inside's drying, I'm going to work on some smaller projects up here. I'm going to put all my stamps on the front. So I'm just going to do a thin layer right here where I'm going to cover up this actually really cool um, tax stamp that's on the front. 
but I've kind of got an idea in mind. So I'm actually going to um, go for it. I've sorted out some of my stamps here into some different colors, and I'm going to put all of these black stamps um, in the corner. A lot of them have numbers and things on them, and so uh, I'm just attaching them one at a time in the corner there. And as soon as they're attached and they're down, make sure all the corners are down, and then again, I'm going to go over them with a very light coat of that Mod Podge. So there's definitely some different styles of crafter. I like to have a general plan before I go in. So I've arranged my stamps actually kind of generally how I want them to be on the box. Um, I've seen people jump right in. Everything's okay. There's no wrong way to do this craft. Um, I think Miles Davis said something along the lines of, um, I'll play it first and tell you what it is later. So um, crafting's always a bit like that. I try to have personally a general direction that I'm going in and then I just, when I get in the flow, I just let that take over. Um, whatever works for you. I do want to give you a couple um, tips here. The Mod Podge or even School Glue, if that's what you're using, it's forgiving to a point. Um, once a layer hardens, and again, you're going to try to want to use thin layers, um, it's really difficult to reposition. So if you are really being pretty perfectionist about this, try to reposition things while the glue is still wet. Things can even, you know, take off, remove them, whatever you need to do. Um, once it's set though, you're kind of locked in and just move on and keep going. Um, don't worry about anything like that. Um, I will also caution you that on the um, edges of the boxes, like if you're having paper wrap over, be aware that this edge right here of the box is made to go together with this other edge. So you don't want anything, um, try to keep things out of those edges. Likewise, try not to glue down any edges where another piece might connect. Mod Podge, just like school glue, um, takes a really long time to um, like actually like seal and harden. Um, several days, in fact, you can even say several weeks. And if the box ever gets like really, really, really warm or something like that, the glue essentially is melting a little bit. And, um, and it will kind of like remelt and, re and harden together. So try to keep glue away from the seams. If you get glue where you don't want it, super easy. Just take a paper towel or a damp cloth and um, just kind of like lightly kind of uh, scrub away at that um, even dry Mod Podge. It'll come right off. It's a great material. This is a great craft. And um, I'll make one more little quick video to show you guys the finished product. Okay, I finished the front, and uh, all of the sides are in various stages of uh, gluing and drying. Uh, you know, yeah, so don't worry, you know, if, if you got some extra glue, totally cool. If you do want to wipe it off the, uh, the edges, again, where the wood is going to meet wood, um, keep it away from all those little creases and stuff, and uh, keep it on your skin. And uh, yeah, you're good to go. We've got ourselves a decoupage treasure box. All right, so uh, it's not quite dry, uh, but, it's, but it's mostly dry. I've gotten all the glue off of those uh, tricky edges, especially uh, notice this one here in the middle. Um, just use some, um, you know, a sponge or a washcloth of your hand to get any glue and residue off, and then you're just gonna let this guy dry. Now, it'll be dry to the touch in probably an hour, maybe two if you've gone pretty thick, um, and it'll be completely um, kind of sealed in after about two days or so. So definitely let it dry. What I love about our decoupage treasure treasure boxes is you can give this kit um, as is, and you can give someone the gift of creating with their own hands. Or you know, this is this is a perfect box. You know, a, a kid can make it, have fun doing it, thinking about mom or dad, or an aunt or an uncle or a grandparent who's maybe a little bit hard to shop for. Everybody needs a place to put their stuff, and um, and this box is going to be just just perfect for me. So thanks for watching. Um, enjoy the decoupage treasure boxes.